Hello and welcome to PCI's Tech TV mini series, New Mosaicing Features in Geomatica. In this episode, we will look at Geomatica's new post mosaic editing tools. More specifically, we will cover the following topics. We'll use Geomatica's Smart Geofill to quickly perform mosaic touch ups on an output or full resolution mosaic. And we will use the new lookup table LUT tools to tune the hue contrast and brightness of our mosaic. Let's begin by removing a popcorn cloud with the Smart Geofill tool. So here you can see we have a quick bird image or quick bird mosaic where we have a popcorn cloud in our image. Either we've discovered this after the generation of the mosaic or perhaps this was the best image to use at the time. We've, what we want to do here is we want to just quickly replace these pixels without having to, having to do much effort or processing. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to replace those pixels with a CompSat 3 image or pixels from a CompSat 3 image. This image has a different resolution and a different projection. So we want to be able to do this without having to do much pre-processing in order to get the pixels in the same projection or resolution. So for this we can go to our tools and open up our Smart Geofill control panel. With the Smart Geofill control panel open, we can choose our source image so this is the image that we want to copy the pixels from. So in this case, it's the CompSat 3 image. And then our destination image, which in this case, it's the QuickBird image. So we can just use the first visible layer under our polygon. Or we can hard code it by setting it specifically to this image. So if we look here, we have a polygon layer. So we make that our active layer. And it's just an empty polygon layer. And I'm just going to draw a polygon that roughly outlines this cloud. So at this point, I can then simply just copy the pixels. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the pixels come up very white. Now, why is that? Well, that's because we're working with 16-bit imagery here. So if we actually look at the histogram for these two images, so say, for example, we look at the red band for the two, we can see they span a very different range. So we have the bulk of our pixels in our QuickBird image spanning from about 100 to about 600 DN values. But then we almost have an order of magnitude difference between with our CompSat 3 image. It's spanning from about 1,000 to 6,000. So it makes sense that there's obviously a stretch being applied. So to correct this, the Smart Geofill comes with an amazing capability to perform some quick color balancing. So for example, I can go to histogram here. Because we have a cloud, we can increase the trim, say, to 3% or 2%. We'll increase the match width and try something like 100. We can just go apply. So now we can see immediately these are now the pixels. Another nice feature about this tool is I can move this around. So say I wanted to relocate this or place it in a different area, then I have the ability to do that. We'll just put it back to where we found it. So at this point, we're ready to pretty much paste our pixels in. But when we paste it, it even has one additional feature to even further hide any potential seams that might be introduced. And that is we can create a blend width. So at this point, we can just simply paste our layer in. And then when we remove this or say delete the results, we can now see that our imagery no longer has a cloud. So let me show you one more example of using the Smart Geofill tool on a mosaic in another application. In this case we have very high aerial imagery or very high aerial um, mosaic and we want to show you a concept known as image vetting. Now this is where we want to hide say a building, say a sensitive building, perhaps a structure that is a defense or a military structure that uh, we need to sort of remove from the imagery. So the best way to do this is to also use the Smart Geofill tool. So right now I've already drawn a, a very rough uh, polygon that roughly outlines the boundary of say this house or the property. So I'm going to use the Smart Geofill tool in a slightly different manner than before. So once again, the source and the destination in this case is the same. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy pixels from a different area 
in this mosaic. So I can go, for example, to here. Looks like a reasonable area. And I can just simply go copy. Now I can drag this, and the nice thing is I can see what the pixels look like. I can drag it back over to my property. So if I want, I can try to line it up as best as possible, but really we don't need to be too careful. And then now, really we don't need color balancing because we're coming from the same image, but we want to have a good blend width. So maybe set this to a little bit larger, such as 30 pixels. And then we can just simply paste this in. And then when we remove, and say move the polygon out of the way, it's now very difficult to tell that there was anything there other than this, uh, than this natural feature here. So that's the Smart Geofill tool. Now the last tool I want to introduce you to for performing post-mosaic edits on your mosaic is our quick lookup table editing tool. This can be used in lieu of our uh, more advanced lookup table editor. So here we can perform some simple but very useful lookup table edits to our mosaic to get that final aesthetically pleasing look that we're going for. So here obviously I can change the contrast, can change the brightness, can change the hue, color hue, so add a bit more red, add a little more green, take away some blue perhaps, and we can get to see that perhaps this would be a result that we would want to present to our customers. Now a nice feature is we can save this to memory and we can try a different option. So say we want to increase the contrast a little bit more, perhaps the brightness as well, maybe bring the green down a little bit, bring the red down a little bit as well, and then we can switch this with our other option to see which one we like better. Once it's done, we can just simply close it and then we have that now applied as our histogram stretch. And then we can save this as a lookup table segment if we wish to uh, apply this to the pixels permanently.